Well, I'd like to welcome back today uh, Leslie Gabola. You know her from Adapt to It. And she's brought along a guest, uh, Tai Takanagi. I, I pronounced it right at the beginning, <laughs> Takanagi. And uh, Tai, we were talking about that beforehand. I, I said I wouldn't pronounce it right when we get on camera, but okay. I did. <laughs> That's fine. All right, and he's with D Free. And um, a very unique product. First, Leslie, thank you for coming sure. on today. My pleasure. And Ty, uh, you brought along this product that, of course, you, uh, Leslie, carry. So first, tell us a bit, Leslie, what brought you to this product? Okay, as you know, I'm always looking for new, creative, innovative things. And um, a big part of my store is dignity. And mm -hmm. I think that everybody that knows me knows that. Right. And so I'm always looking for those products that are just kind of a little bit, um, well, that really foster either independence mm -hmm. and, and maintain dignity and yeah. just make us feel like human because yeah. I think we lose that somewhere along the way with you know hospitalizations and illness and whatever is going right. on with you. And so I find I find myself, number one, talking a lot in my store about that. And, and when I go out and speak publicly, I speak a lot about that. And so when I see a product that I feel addresses those issues, mm -hmm. I get really excited about it. Yeah, And um, I haven't had like a really, I mean, I, I've gotten little new things, but I haven't had something that I feel it could be very groundbreaking. And so I was at a convention, well, a, an expo, health expo, and I met Ty and saw his great product. And I thought, you know, this is really along, just along my edge of mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do with my store. And so I will let Ty sure. discuss it yeah. and explain it to you a little bit. It's really kind of exciting. Sure. The, the product is uh, called uh, D-Free, and uh, it is a, a non-invasive, completely safe solution for uh, urinary incontinence or loss of bladder control. And this little sensor is ultrasound, and you place this uh, little sensor on your lower abdomen, and uh, uh, you download an app to your phone or tablet, and you see exactly how full your bladder is. And what's great about this device is it'll give you a notification on your phone to go to the bathroom. So it's for people who need a little bit of a advanced notice to go to the bathroom, and they'll get that notification on their phone. Ty, let me uh, ask you how sure. exactly does that work? I can see mm -hmm. the uh, the larger side uh, yep. has a belt clip on it. Yep. So does the other, uh, the smaller unit mm -hmm. that you stick down by your abdomen, um, does it just kind of tuck in there? It, is there a sticky back to it that it sticks to your skin? That's a great question. So it is ultrasound, so it needs to be flush on your skin. Okay. So you place it on your tummy and then you cover it with a medical tape. And you okay. Can, you can it. use any off the shelf um, medical tape which you can buy from Leslie's store. Mm -hmm. And uh, this side is actually a battery pack. Uh, and as you've mentioned, it's got a little clip on the back. So you clip it to your belt or your pants. And this battery is good for 24 hours. Okay. So it's designed to be worn on your body around the clock to tell you uh, how full your bladder is and when to go to the bathroom. Okay, now as far as um, the way that works, you, yes. you have to have an app on your phone or does that beep if you don't want to Somebody's not carrying around a cell phone. So you do need to have a, a phone or a tablet okay. um, to carry with you. And uh, one of the, the things about phone is um, it's discreet. So you just take out your phone and you'll see how full your bladder is. And you'll get a little notification telling you to go to the bathroom. Okay. So um, it's relatively non-discreet. And when you're out and about, all you have to do is check your phone okay. because this is kind of tucked away underneath your clothes anyways. Now tell us the, the reason for this. I, it, some folks get to a point for whatever reason, sure. they don't have the sensitivity. Some people don't have the sensitivity um, uh, in terms of when to go to the bathroom. Other people just need a little bit of advance notice in terms of when to look for a bathroom. So if you're on a, a road trip, for example, or on a vacation, uh, you just need a little bit of advance notice to look for a bathroom. So this is what this product does. Okay. Now, you carry this, uh, mm -hmm. and do you need a prescription, or you just walk no. in and... Mm -hmm. You can just walk in and get it. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, and the, uh, the other advantage is it can really be used for people 
who have um, a more serious um, disability, something like a spinal cord injury, and, yeah, that's a and very people good point. that yeah. don't have the physical ability to feel that, mm -hmm. they've lost that sensation for some reason. Okay. And so it, it can be used for a multiple uh, multiple set of people. Okay. Now, you mentioned uh, the battery lasts uh, 24 hours. Yes. Uh, is it just a battery that goes in? Is it charged? Mm -hmm. How does that work? So there's a little uh, USB port here, and uh, you take that open and use a, a basic USB charger, which okay. comes with a device. All right. So it's a built-in battery charger, just like your phone or anything like that. Correct. Okay. In 24 hours, I guess some people may or may not wear it that long. It depends. Some people wear it uh, when they go to bed. Some people wear it when they go out. So it really depends on your lifestyle and when you need it. Okay. And as far as um, you said you use the medical take uh, to put on, mm -hmm. and that's not an issue if uh, you know you can take that off really. Mm -hmm. It's like the same stuff you'd wrap a band-aid exactly. or, or that exactly. foamy kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that you can obviously get. Now, as far as, um, you know, how, to, how would people really determine if this is, is right for them? It's really up to the individual. They begin to see they have problems and maybe they've, I, I would assume they've already gone to their doctor and, you know, tried to see if there's other things they could do. But this is like an extra way for protection in a way, a Correct. notification. Yeah, I think uh, for uh, urinary incontinence, the only solution right now is wearing diapers or right. taking medications. Right. Yeah. Um, and some people go as far as um, getting surgery. Okay. Um, and those are all choices that people want to, those are last resorts essentially. Okay. So we wanted to give people an, a different way to address the problem of incontinence. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully this will um, serve their needs. What about setting it for sensitivity? Is there something on the app that, uh, you know, perhaps because it's, you know, like anything, it's too sensitive. You right. want to dial it back a little bit. Sure. Um, in terms of uh, the sensor sensitivity, there's not much you can do. Okay. Um, it'll detect your bladder right away and tell you how full it is. Mm -hmm. But you can change when you get notifications. Okay, so it does come up as a notification. Yes. Like you're getting a text or a something. Text, exactly. Okay, that's good. And then, so you can set the notification to show up when your bladder's 40% full or 50% full or 60% full. Okay, got it. So if okay. you want advanced notice, um, if you want a little bit more time to look for a bathroom, set it at 20 or 30% so that you have ample time to look for a bathroom. Okay. All right. I think that's great. Thank you. You know, you could almost use this product eventually, it, like... Um, for little kids for potty training or something. Maybe. Yeah. Right, yeah. We get an idea. We actually get a lot okay. of uh, inquiries for that. <laughs> <laughs> Put me down as a st on the stock on there for that. <laughs> no, but I think this is a really good product. And you know, like you said, I've known you for how many years now? Yeah, it's 18. Yeah. Um, you're all about, you know, keeping people's dignity. Right. I think in just about everything you do. Exactly. You know, exactly. seriously, whether it's it's a walker or helping people eat with certain mm -hmm. gadgets you have, mm -hmm. and she's got lots of gadgets, that's for sure. Yeah, but is. I think that's really, you know, that's what you do. That's the main yeah. thing. It is. Yeah. And, you know, it's part and parcel with independence. Yeah. So if you can keep somebody independent, mm -hmm. you can maintain their dignity. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you have these in stock right now? Or We're am I right? Are you yes. getting, getting mm -hmm. them in? Mm -hmm. But they can just come in and it's like an off-the-shelf kind of a yes, product. Yes, and we'll okay. actually have a working demo in the store okay. within about a week. So. Okay. Um, All right. Definitely. Very good. Thank you very much. As You're always, very welcome. Ty, a pleasure to Thanks. meet you. Thanks, Ken. Maybe we'll see you again sometime. It was nice meeting you. Always good to see good you. Good to see As you. Thank we'll you. We'll see you next time, and we'll be right back.